Hello guys, welcome to my house, to my private house and welcome to my cooking TV show. And uh, this is the sponsor, the sponsor of my TV show, Hello Guys, is my book, as you know, that you can find on Amazon. Uh, here there is, uh, as you know, there are many recipes, actually family recipes, mm, very easy, you know, we have a pasta and I present them in the most beautiful places of Italy. For instance, here I am with the spaghetti alle vongole in Venice, okay? Let me see, here I am in my house, here, with the cannelloni spaghetti meatballs. And actually, spaghetti meat meatballs that are at page 60. Oh guys, uh, I forgot, um, every recipe has a QR code, if you scan with your mobile, and you can watch the video, so you can read the video and you can watch it on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is a Cook and Love with Luca, like my Instagram. So, page 60. Yes, spaghetti meatballs, you see. And today, mm, with the dough of the meatballs, we are doing something uh, quite similar. Uh, it's a polpettone. Polpettone is a, a traditional Italian dish. Basically, it's a big meatball, because meatball in Italian is polpetta. Uh, polpettone, big meatball. So, we have all the ingredients here that I show you. And we are preparing this polpettone. It's cooked in the oven. Okay, it's not like a meatball so that you can cook that you, you fry them or you can cook uh, directly in the tomato sauce. No, this is another thing. We cook inside the oven and inside there is a something like something special. I will show you, I will tell you later. Not only that, I'm preparing a sauce, a side sauce uh, to have with your polpettone. It's, um, you know, a tartar sauce. Basically, is a mayonnaise. Mayonnaise recipe, you can find it on my book, on my book, Hello guys at the beginning I've got all the recipes for the preparations of sauce like a custard cream or you know the pastry uh, to make cakes and here you have also the recipe for the mayonnaise okay so a tartar sauce is something like a mayonnaise and we add some vegetables I'll show you later uh, so, mm, I think we are ready to start our polpettone. Mm? So, uh, the ingredients for our polpettone. We have 600 grams of minced meat. Guys, as you can see, it's a veal meat and a sausage. Okay, so it's a, actually it's a 400 grams of uh, veal and 200 grams of sausage. If you want, you can um, buy in your supermarket a mixed um, minced meat, you know, so you can have uh, pork and veal, okay? Then we have two eggs, voila! Then uh, five uh, spoons, tablespoons of parmigiano, grated parmigiano. Then we have uh, um, chopped pers parsley. And then we have uh, a nutmeg, freshly ground nutmeg, I'll show you later. And bread, uh, stale bread, it's 100, 120 grams of stale bread that actually we make softer, adding, voila, a little bit of milk, like this. Okay, and then we go on, I'll show you later. So it sucks and uh, salt and pepper of course and then it's a um, this is polpettone i want to do something special because you know guys tonight i have some friends for dinner so i want to do something special and we do inside of the polpettone we put a little bit of a surprise so I mean, it's up to you, you can choose whatever you want, but I would I like to make it with 100 grams of ham, cheese, melt cheese, you know, 
uh, I, uh, initially we call these uh, sottilette, do you see? Then we have two boiled eggs, okay? Do you know, guys, uh, Scottish uh, meatballs, uh, okay? You know, with uh, their meatballs with inside the eggs and stuff. It's uh, something like that, okay? So stay tuned and let's start having fun! So guys, uh, as always, this is a very easy recipe, okay? We start with, um, with the mixed uh, um, uh, meat, okay? We add the two eggs. One and two. Actually, you have actually all, uh, only to mix all the ingredients. We add the uh, Parmesan cheese, like this. The parsley, like this. Then the salt. Okay. The pepper. The nutmeg, freshly ground. In, in Italy, uh, we use, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> in Italy we use, uh, oh, in Italy we use a lot of nutmeg, uh, especially for the bechamel. I suggest you to put nutmeg in the bechamel and in the uh, polpette, in the meatballs. Okay, and then, okay, we finish with the bread. Guys, the bread, the state bread, that it was uh, uh, soggy now with, uh, with the milk, like this. You squeeze a little bit and you add the, the, the bread. Guys, I have... Um, uh, how do you call it? A spoon, but actually the best way to do that is, uh, you know, with the hands. If you watch the video of the spaghetti meatballs, you will see I was with Christine, my friend Christina. So, as I told you, with the, by hand is much, much better. Like this, you see, hope you can see me. Voila, and I go on like this. I don't know how can I stop the camera now with the hands like this, but I try to manage, okay? So guys, do you see how I clean my hands? That it means that the, the dough, the, the mixture, the, the pulpetto, the mixture is perfect, okay? Just in case it is too, it, it, it shouldn't be too dry, it shouldn't be too wet, okay? It's just, you know, a matter of, um, I don't know, practice, I have no idea. Just in case it is too wet, you can add some, I have here, just to show you, uh, uh, bread crumble, bread crumbs, okay? But when it's like this, do you see how it's clean all the... You see? So it's perfect, okay? Now, um, now we go on, i show you uh, the, you know, the, how to go on. So guys, here I am, this is our polpettone, and we have to put all this stuff inside, but before that, you need, guys, a paper, uh, the kitchen paper, we do like this, hope you can see me, we don't need this one, okay, hope you can see me, you do it like this, you see, we gave the shape of a rectangular, actually you need a spatula probably, um, or um, a spoon, Okay, and now I go on like this and then I show you later. Okay, do you see guys, we have this shape. Now we put the, the ham like this all over. 
Okay, hope you can see me. The hen. Voila, guys, it's the, the first time that I'm doing this recipe. Hope it will be fine, okay? Then we have the cheese. You see, uh, it should be melting cheese. I don't know how do you say in English, you know, the cheese that inside the oven, it melts. Uh, this is good also for the hamburger, for instance, like this. Voila! A little bit everywhere. So guys, a hundred grams of cheese, a hundred grams of ham. Then the eggs. So the trick is that actually we can cut them. We can cut them probably is much better. Voila, one. Okay, so you have, you can put okay everywhere. Sorry guys, I hope you can see, you see. And now we are literally, rolling hope i can do it with the paper you see you roll because the the trick is that when you are um, cutting the your pulpitone you will find all this stuff inside. Voila, guys, you see, we give the shape. You can, you know, you can help yourself with, you see. Actually, guys, if you are watching the video of the chocolate salami, and Cristina helped me so well doing this. But she's a really good cook. She's not a disaster like me. <laughs> Voila. I'm closing everything very firmly. And like the, voila, like the chocolate salami, we make a big candy like this. You see, and you do this, your polpettone actually now, it's ready, not to, for the cooking, it's not ready yet, but for the fridge. You leave inside the fridge for almost one hour, okay? Voila, guys, like this, you see? We have already the, the baking tray. You see, like this, in the fridge for one hour. So, see. so guys, our polpettone is on the fridge, is resting for the moment. And as I told you, we are preparing now a side um, sauce, a tartar sauce. Actually, we have done this before. Uh, if you if you uh, watch my book or if you have it at page. Uh, sorry, I can read, 104, we made this um, uh, salmon braid, uh, salmon braid, yes, with the sauce, uh, actually I have the picture here, and so you have the recipe here, or at the beginning of the book, where there are the preparations, the sauce, the condiments, you will find the mayonnaise, uh, the recipe for the mayonnaise. Actually, the recipe is a mayonnaise, um, mayonnaise sauce, the traditional one, where we add some stuff that I'll show you. So for the mayonnaise you need 200 grams of sunflower oil, okay, one egg, uh, lemon juice and vinegar, white vinegar, salt and salt of course. Then we inside this mayonnaise we are putting some vegetables so we have carrots celery chopped parsley one garlic 
um, cuppers in vinegar, and uh, this is uh, my secret, uh, and anchovy, okay? So, we, uh, we start preparing our um, mayonnaise. Actually, you need um, a blender like this, the olive oil, as I told you, you put the, 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 um, all the egg, white and red inside and you mix like this. Uh, sorry because I, I need the salt. Okay, here we are. So, a little bit of salt because it's very loud. A little bit of lemon juice like this and a little bit of vinegar, white vinegar like this and you mix. Guys, of course, this is the recipe for the mayonnaise traditional, if you want. I mean, you can buy it, of course, already made. But if you do like this with this system, you can have, you know, a more thick mayonnaise, a more um, liquid or um, a little bit more um, lemon flavor or, you know, you make your own mayonnaise. So I go on because, as I, you know, it's very loud and see you later, okay? So guys, a few minutes and our mayonnaise is ready. As you can see, this is the best and the quicker way to do it, the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise. I mean, with a, a blender, a 200 grams of sunflower oil, one egg, salt, uh, lemon juice and vinegar. And you mix all together. I mean, not the traditional way, you know, with the, that you have to put a little bit of olive of oil, a drop and then another, no. You put all together. Now it's time for our vegetables. As I told you, this mayonnaise, uh, we add some vegetables inside. As you can see, I have my old fashioned uh, machine, but you know, I really love this. You know, I really love this. And we add, as I told you, one carrot like this. You chop everything uh, together very quickly. Uh, one um, carrot, the celery, like this. Hope you can see me, the celery. Then the garlic, the garlic. The um, cuppers, the parsley, ready chopped, it's okay, don't worry, no, nothing happened, like this. And my magic touch, my secret, the anchovy, like this. All together, we cover that. And we chop everything. See you later. Guys, do you see? My old fashioned machine, it works very well. Of course, I'm joking, you can use whatever you have, whatever you want. Our vegetables are finely chopped and we, we add them at the mayonnaise like this, very easy. Guys, this sauce is very easy but very tasty. You can have it with your boiled eggs or with your fish or with your sandwich. Mm, it's, it's very good. Okay, like this, and then simply we mix, we mix together. Voila! You see, guys? Okay, I go on and I show you later. Okay, guys, our sauce. Do you see it's ready? Uh, do you see how it's creamy? It's very thick. And as I told you, it depends uh, how you like your, uh, your mayonnaise, if you more liquid or more thick. Uh, as you know, the, you can use this for, you know, to dip your, uh, to dip your um, French fries, for instance. Uh, yeah, as I told you, your hamburger or whatever. Now, um, let's go on with our polpettone and the recipe is almost ready. So stay tuned. 
So guys, after one hour, do you see uh, from the fridge, this is our, um, our polpettone, okay, do you see? Now we are cooking for half an hour. We are cooking actually with the paper, you see, with the paper like this for half an hour. Then we open, we threw away the, the paper and we cook for a little bit more. But I tell you later, okay? In the oven at 180 degrees, okay? So it goes to the oven and I'll see you later. So guys, after 30 minutes, do you see? This is our polpettone. Of course, it's not ready. Actually, it's half cooked because now we have to open the paper. Voila! Do you see? Oof, it's boiling. Do you see? Voila! And we finish our cooking. Um, you know, to give the crust. Actually, probably it's better if I change the paper. And I'll show you later. And then I, I turn upside down, okay? i show you later. Uh, so, 30 minutes with the paper, you open, and you go on with the um, cooking inside the oven, okay? Just a few minutes, I'll show you. So guys, do you see I changed the paper? The uh, polpettone actually is um, already cooked, but, you know, to have more crust, just put a little bit of uh, crumbles, uh, bread crumbs, like this, so you will have a very crusty, um, a, a, a very crusty polpettone, like this. Not only that, because you know, probably you have a little bit of liquid, do you see? So the, the bread crumbs helps you in um, absorb, okay? So, we put now in the oven, this time, as I told you, without the paper, for probably 10-15 minutes, I don't know, until you have a golden, crispy polpettone, so see you. So guys, the last 15-20 minutes passed, so this is our polpettone ready. And uh, so remember, the first time 30 minutes with the paper, then you uh, leave the pay, you, you remove the paper, and the other uh, 15 or 20 minutes without the paper to have the crust, the, the crisp, uh, the crispy polpettone. As you, you know, I told you to um, I add a little bit of crumbs, um, bread crumbs. Now it's time to open it and let's see what happened. Voila, do you see, guys? Hope you can see. Yes. Voila, and now I show you if I can, very gentle, oh yeah, look at this, I can see the eggs inside, guys, look at this, voila, do you see, it's great, wow, another one, So, voila, let's wait that I prepare a little bit the, the, the plate. Guys, our plate is ready, do you see? I put also some French beans, the sauce, the side sauce that we, we did together, voila, I show you, voila. I think it's a very nice, you know, as um, uh, as dinner for my friends. So guys, as I told you, this recipe is not on my book, hello guys. But never mind, don't worry, because you will uh, find it on my Instagram sto uh, stories and on my YouTube channel that has the same title on my um, Instagram account, uh, Cook and Love with Luca. So uh, guys, uh, please uh, follow me, tag me. Uh, if you want, you can have my my book, Hello Guys, on Amazon from now and uh, make my recipes. And don't forget that my heart is yours. Ciao!